What's up, people? This is Kyoto here. Uh, so, it's been a very long time since I last done a haul video. I think the last time I did a haul video was back in um, July for MA Expo. And yeah, I know, I look a little more different now. I got haircut since I'm, uh, you know, finding a new job. But anyways, I'm back. Um, when I say I'm back, I mean uh, I was in Japan for about a month. Uh, I came back home about last week, uh, being in Japan for a month, doing tourist stuff, and um, it was a great experience for the first time being in Japan, getting to check out a lot of the things I usually see online that, you know, envy people trying out, like uh, Daily Chico, the ice cream, uh, Nara Park, where the deers are, Kawaii Monster Cafe, all that sort. So, you know, I got to experience a lot of cool things that I finally got the chance to do, and yeah, it was an awesome experience going to Japan for a month. Uh, I went to, of course, Tokyo, uh, Akihabara, Shibuya, Red Light District. I also went to Osaka and Kyoto for about a week and... Uh, yeah, so... Oh, also music festival, uh, an anime convention there, which was pretty uh, unique and interesting compared, like, comparing that to American anime conventions. It's definitely different vibe. But um, anyways, I'll talk more about it, or actually, I have vlogs about it, so if um, eventually the vlogs will be posted up in my channel later this year, hopefully. I mean, I've been pretty lazy with a lot of stuff, and you know, just going through my whole video now, just for the fact that I need to clean up my stuff and all that sort. So uh, yeah, welcome to my whole video. Alright, so going through all the stuff, or at least... The small stuff first that I bought in Japan. Uh, so I went to a lot of places. I also, let's well, see, Toei Animation, Kyoto, One Piece, Tower, Evangelion Store, Akihabara, of course. I just dropped something. And so going through everything one by one. Tap. So bought One Piece chopstick of Zoro because Zoro's such a badass. So, bought this at the One Piece place. Inosuke doing his famous, God knows what kind of pose that is. So, yeah, I, I don't know, I just bought it because I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> I've I seen the video of him doing it too and his laugh, but there's that. A grand blue fantasy. Uh, badge that I want at the arcade. Evangelion acrylic key holder, so this is of Ray. You guys can see. Uh some lanyards from the One Piece uh tower. Uh originally I only wanted Zoro but I didn't know if I bought Zero because I actually went to One Piece Tower twice. So I had like vague, uh, vague memory if I actually bought this. So I was like, oh, they ran out of Zoro, my favorite character. I just guess I'll buy Luffy. And then I realized I already bought the Zoro one. So I have a uh, two lanterns of them. Whew. Also bought a little magnet over too. If it focuses, there we go. Little magnet. Man, this is a lot of stuff. Somehow I managed to buy all this and fit it into my luggage. Kind of hot, but... Yahar no session. Acrylic key chain. Of the Koha. I forgot her name. Inoha? I think it was Inoha or Iroha. It's one of those two. Another Evangelion keychain. Of Ray. Let's see. Mika Jogasaki keychain. So I think this one's one of the more pricier ones. I actually got this off of um, one of those uh, rolling pin things. And it depending on the color you get, uh, the better the color, the bigger the price. So. I got this, so I was happy about this. Velvet 
Crow from Pers or Tales of Berseria. I bought this for about 440 yen, so that was incredibly cheap. So anything you buy in Akihabara, they're mostly secondhand, but they are in really good condition and they are very cheap. So definitely worth buying stuff there. Um, didn't know what I was thinking buying these three, but these are incredibly big acrylic keychain. So Miku from uh, Quintessential Quint or yeah, Quintessential Quintuplet. And of course I have to get it at Goblin Slayer Crow Keychain, so these ones are incredibly big as heck. Not sure what I was thinking of, but when you ever go to like a trip, or especially going to Japan, you don't think about the money or the cost, so. But, of course another Inosuke uh, Crow like holder. I bought a lot of these actually, not this, but a lot of like characters designs of like just acrylic holders or stands so don't know where to put them all um luckily for this one this one's actually a gift for my friend because uh forget our name starts with a p but uh this is going to be a gift for my friend for la so just bought it for him because this is a halloween special edition and this is his favorite character so try to be a good friend getting him something that he loves i know he would do the same for me Man, hmm. Ooh, of course. Sorry if I touch the camera a lot, it's just to uh, autofocus. Miku. What goes along with Miku? A bigger Miku. So just going through all the stuff that I bought. Uh, this one, I don't know exactly what it is. I thought it was a coaster, but a keychain from what I know because there, I see a chain in behind the acrylic as well. There's a hole, but you know, I really wanted this just for the fact that I don't know, it's thick, it's cool. I thought it was like one of those pass holders that you put in between. But yeah, this is from Shiny Colors. I don't master Shiny Colors. I also got this Ronco smart case. So, uh, smart card. Oh, smart card case. I wonder if it holds May cards. So, ideally, this is for. I'm assuming for like Suica cards or at least like train uh train cards. Where usually uh in Ch Japan the train system you rec it's like me I guess Suica card. Uh, where you put in um um what's it called? card holder and so you can whip this out immediately just to you know go through the gates so bought this and uh, so, some stuff really cool stuff I got uh, these ones are from the Kyoto anime uh, convention that went when I was there so I got a special Amelia Kyoto badge so I'm not sure you're able to see that so The design is so cool. So, this was like exclusive Kyoto anime convention, so I thought it was really cool. I also got a REM one as well. As you can see, the Kyoto Tower over there. Really awesome. And I also got some uh, wooden shrine cards. And So I thought this was really cool. Uh, Konosuba as well as uh, Senpai Bunny one. So these two hang around the walls, but really sick designs. Love them. And also, uh, I bought this uh, file folder, which is, or file shiki mini shiki holder. So. I put some shikis in there that I got from Japan, so these ones were from the lottery in front of Sega, so got some mini shiki boards of High Elf Archer, the Priestess, as well as show you guys those, and then last one, uh, got some Pokemon ones as well. And 
I think her name was Futaba, if I remember. Oh yeah, really cool. If you guys ever go to Japan and you guys collect mini Shiki boards, I definitely recommend getting this. This you could get at um the Animate Store, Animate st Animate Store. So they sell that. So and the last cool thing I got is of course the Shiki board of Ronko. So this is going to be going up to my display case that is pretty much right behind me. Because I'm making a Ronko Konzaki Shrine. <laughs> so, all this is perfect for that. Got this uh, Hello Kitty Maggie keychain. Show off. And I also bought this little Dark Magician Girl. Why well, did Yeah, it is a keychain. So, like a little plush keychain. So, hey. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> um, this I got the uh, for free at the Evangelion store. I think it's one of those uh, gift towels. I don't know if it's a towel. I don't even know what the design is, but yeah, they gave this to me because I spent over five. Or, no, I spent over eight thousand yen. But ideally, I spent over three hundred dollars because I'm a fool and I didn't think I'd be spending that much at the Evangelion store. So. I got this for free. I got an Idol Master towel. This is from Shiny Colors, so it's just a towel. Speaking of towels, I also went to the PIA Music Festival in Japan and I got this Minami towel as well. Sweat towel, so. I did not know Minami is performing. I. Wow, why is. This is not. So. Yeah, I didn't know Minami was performing. Uh, ideally, I went to go for Uberworld, Maximum the Hormone, but Minami was performing and so was Humpback, so... Going to the PIA, uh, PIA Music Festival was definitely a great experience to go to. It was definitely fun. Got this One Piece mug. And show you guys what it looks like inside. It is an actual mug, so you get Luffy. You get pretty much if it, all the character, uh, all the crew's own like design. So Nami, Sanji, Zoro, Robin, Usopp. Oh, that's Robin. Wait, no, no, no. that's Chopper. But. So that's what the One Piece mug is looking like. And I also got this uh, Gundam mug, of course, from Strict G at the Gundam base store. So, what it looks like, I'll show you guys. Go ahead, open. It's the Gundam Unicorn mug. That says, go, 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 go. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think anything's on it, so that's what the mug looks like. The Gundam Unicorn mug. Not sure if I will actually use it right now because there's so many cups in my house already. Maybe when I move out, as I mentioned. Um,. SS grid, whatever it's called. Come on. So this, I just wanted to get, or SSS grid man. So I got this just to hang around my wall because this represents how I am. Just lying down, playing games. So. <laughs> I got the um, towel of... What was the towel? Ah. It's a it's the album cover from um, Supercell that saying uh, Bake Mono Gatari series, but Ooh. what does that say? That is Duneb Alter Vega. 
So this one I'm just going to be um, pinning to my wall because this is a pretty sick towel and I love Supercell. This was my favorite uh, album. So, hang that out. Uh, bought some, uh, I don't know what you call this, but I guess you could call it like art book in some sense, but the Auto Master first live concert. I think it's first live concert. Yeah, yeah. First live concert. Live concert. So I think this is just an art book of, not an art book, um, a book displaying all the concerts that happen or the photos from the concert from the first ever Idol Master concert. Man, I don't know. I have no idea why I was having difficulties with that. I also have their second concert, which is the uh, Tokyo and Osaka one. See, this was about three thousand yen. You guys get to check it out. But man, I'm having such a hard time hearing all this stuff. <laughs> so this is what does it say? Summer Festival 2015 in Osaka, and it came along with this CD as well. So I definitely want to check that out. So. Speaking of CDs, I also got Ronko Kanzaki's uh, CD album. Uh, my, my bad if I move around too much, my legs was hurting a lot. But Woo. so I got that. Shiro Bak goes um visual key designs. So it's going through the key designs of Shiro Bako. As you can see. Uh, I actually have one of uh, Charlotte as well. I remember buying this, uh, buying it from uh, AX. I bought this one from the Kyoto Anime um, Convention that they ha held in uh, Kyoto. And speaking of keyframes, I actually got some keyframes. So I got Anime or Anamon from uh, Elraka 7. Man, this would have been so cool if I got this and then I end up getting this signed by the voice actor because I was, man, I was in Canada, I met the voice actor, I had her sign my special booklet, but if I had this before, I could have had her sign this keyframe. Oh. Also, I got the I don't master keyframe from the movie. Uh, or as you guys would know, a million stars or... Million live, I mean, not million stars, but it's also a keyframe. And I also got this cheeky board of uh, Kanade. Alright, so if you ever go to Japan, of course the requirement is to go to the Pokemon Center. And so I went to the Pokemon Center and I spent like over a hundred bucks there as well as went to the cafe. I think I visited the Pokemon Center about four or five times during my whole trip in Japan. But showing off the stuff that I got. Of course, I picked up some Pokemon card sleeves, so Alone Wolf, or Alone uh, Nine Tails. I only picked these up because, or I only bought this just for the fact that I bought a lot of Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards in Japan are pretty cheap. For booster pack, is about a dollar fifty or one hundred and fifty yen. So I bought a lot of those. Uh, some of them could go from five dollars, but mo ideally, I saw a lot of them were only one hundred and fifty yen. Uh, each pack usually comes with like five cards, so I thought that was a really good deal. But first thing to show you guys, I got two magnets. I got Ho Oh and I got Lugia, so I had to pick these up because, of course, Johto is the best gen in the whole Pokemon series. I got these two coasters, so bamboo style coasters of. Alone, Vulpix, and Ninetales, or not Ninetales, um, Espeon. So these two are all-time favorite Pokemon. So, uh, of course, I had to pick these up. These are drink coasters, so, you know, what do you look? Just put drinks on your coaster, of course. Uh, also bought this plate, so 
Espeon and Umbreon. So these are mini plates that I have no idea what I will use them for. But it would be cool to, you know, use them if I ever move into my own place. Maybe have it as a shrine. And so you can... I only bought this because Espeon and Umbreon, of course, the best evolutions of Eevee. In my respectful opinion. Got this also thermo mug. And this shows off 8 bits of all 151 Pokemon from the Kanto region. And so you could put hot or cold. It's okay. So pick this up. And best of all, my favorite thing that I picked up was this cute alone Vulpix. So I, have, I actually have the Christmas version of this, but I didn't know the Christmas version and this one were actually the same. Or at least, they're different, but they're the same, you know, surprise face and like the way it stands. But, picked this up. I, I'm lucky that I actually bought this before they actually ran out of this. Or actually no longer sell it because apparently because of the new um, Pokemon generation coming out of Sword and Shield. I guess they were getting rid of their, all their low and stuff and only keeping like popular from was it Mo ideally I only saw mostly uh, Kanto and Johto and then the new gen of course Sword and Shield so you know picked this up before no longer was it viable and also got uh, these two free Shiki boards that they give out for people that spend over 5,000 yen at the store so I spent ideally over 10,000 yen, so I got two because 5,000, 5,000 equals 10,000. So it's a Halloween special Shiki board of Lucario. So two different designs. So that's the stuff that I bought at the normal Pokemon store. Uh, these ones I actually got from the Pokemon Cafe. Actually, I forgot to show this one. I also got this uh, pass card key, you know, pass holder. So of the three legendary birds so yeah we're gonna mention that uh yeah these ones i got are from the pokemon cafe and for pokemon cafe the only way you could get these items is through make oh, excuse me making a reservation through the pokemon cafe and pre-ordering these items so when you arrive at your reservation time and date your items that you purchase during your res uh, reservation will be on the table already set in a bag so, of course, I picked up Pikachu and Eevee, and these chains are incredibly long, so I find it funny how, like, long these are, but, yeah, not really a fan of Eevee. I wish it would have been, like, something else, but it's whatever. It's better than Meowth, but, yeah, got their little cute hats and uniform, and also, I got this. Pokemon uh, cafe plate of Halloween so they give this out to people that uh, depending on what you order on the menu uh, you get the plate a clean plate so yeah that's pretty cool so next part of the stuff to show off that I got in Japan I got some uh, amazing t-shirts I think I bought a lot of clothes actually not think about it but yeah I did buy a lot of clothes <laughs> it's worth it because they're all exclusive stuff so something that's really hard to get or at least something that you know you can't really get in America of course so of course I have to go to Adidas store so I picked up this awesome Adidas shirt so instead of the Adidas words up here you get the logo of Adidas and you get the word Tokyo instead and on the bottom you get this cool patch below that's a Shiba it's kind of basic, kind of, but, you know, basic's always really good, so, pretty awesome design. Here, and on the back, you get the two kanji, so I'm assuming they say, yeah, it says Tokyo, I believe. The kanji. And I also grabbed another plain one, but, uh, on the back design, it's this anime girl style, so... Uh, these two Adidas shirts are only exclusive in Japan, so, you know, they might last forever, but uh, each shirt was about 4,990 yen, so about relevantly close to 50 bucks. I got Anzu, an Anzu shirt from Idol Master, which 
pretty much says if you work you're a loser so had to get it so that way me and my friend can wear it because he also has one too so <laughs> we both get this shirt and just wear this out in public and people ask us what it says I'll just tell them exactly what it says if you work you're a loser <laughs> Um, ideally, I had to get this no matter what because I see every time I go to an anime convention, especially when there's a concert, an idol concert, I see every, everyone repping their idol and so I kind of felt locked up because the only thing I have is a Jinpei, but now I actually have my own <laughs> idol master shirt, so I got the Joga, Joga Saki sisters of uh, Rika and Mika, so, oh, Ted. So, ideally I want a Ronko, but they don't have a Ronko, so I had to settle for a second best, of course, which is Mika, since I love her so much. Um, these shirts I got from the Gundam Base store, and these are the 40th anniversary shirts that are pretty pricey, uh, kind of actually. No, wait, they're 3,800 yen, so about 36 bucks or 37 bucks to us, but... Here are the two shirts I got. Let's show you guys. This is from Strict G Japan. And this is the 40th anniversary one. Uh, ideally they had the Gundam one, but they only had extra large, and so I decided to pick this up because it's the only one that was a medium size. And this was the last medium too, so. I had to settle for the Zaku ones, sadly. Still cool though. The also Evangelion shirts that I picked up. These ones are really pricey. About probably okay. One of the shirts is fifty eight dollars, so five thousand eight hundred yen. So I'm assuming this is the same price, but this is just the Ray T shirt. This is a large. Uh, they didn't have any more mediums for this one, sadly. This one, holy shit. 58 bucks for this t-shirt. 58 bucks. It's a cool design, but holy crap. 58 bucks. But you get it, but... Here's the price if it shows. Ooh. 5,800 yen. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, and it doesn't come rough, rough, see, or it doesn't come close to this one. So, this one is a flannel with the word logo, uh, what was it? Special Government Agency Nerve. And on the back, you get all the seasons crossed up besides summer. Which, I forgot what that represented, but I should definitely go check that out, but... You guys want to take a moment to guess the cost of the shirt? I'll give it like a five second. I'll give you guys ten seconds to think about it, but. Oh man. Alright, time's up. This is 1300, 500 yen. So, 13,500 yen. I'm not sure why I said 1300. 13,500 yen. So, $135 just for this. Just for this, for $135, that's insane. This is probably the most expensive clothing piece I ever bought. Next up, I bought, I bought pretty much a stack full of mangas. So, of course, two mangas that I picked up, or not two mangas, but the manga I picked up, I got Hitman Reborn or Katyo Hitman Reborn. And the manga in Japan is very cheap. This was about 350 yen, as you guys can see in the back. And so I had to pick them up because some of these ones don't have an English translations or one in America. Uh, for Hitman Reborn, it stopped at volume 16. Even though in Japan they have 42 volumes, as you can right there so they have 242 volumes in Japan but in America they only have 16 uh, I don't know what the reason is due to mm, 
too, holding on too much. Okay, so yeah, Kateo Hitman Reborn. Oh, crap. Next, I got Quint Quintessential and Quintuplet mangas. So, of course. So, I got these mangas. The reason why I bought these mangas is uh, sometimes it comes with special gifts if you buy the manga. So, in the back. They come with uh, postcards stuff. So you got Yotsuba and I, Ichika. Or no, that's not Ichika. That's uh, Nino. So Nino and Ichika. This one, I learned my lesson the first time. It doesn't come with it. So if you ever go to Japan, uh, before you buy mangas, make sure they have any like g uh, gifts behind it because sometimes they will have like the key postcard prints as gifts if you buy the manga so it came with those uh idol master i got wild girls so been me uh me to pick this up because they don't have no english translation of course it came with like a little pre-order bonus or not pre-order bonus but a, a gift inside as well and these are the beazelbub volumes so uh this one right here, one, uh, I didn't know I picked up one already, so now I have two copies, but Beezlebub, all-time favorite manga. Sad that they pretty much cut it short and axed it, but had to pick these up because these are really hard to find. But even even in Japan, I had difficulty finding these. Uh, most More than half these one, uh, half these volumes I found were in Kyoto. In uh, Tokyo and Akihabara, I only found like two volumes, so yeah. Alright, so next thing in my Japan haul that I bought in Japan, which is Japan, Japan, all that Japan, uh, are the Blu rays and DVDs that I bought. So, um, the first ones I got to show you guys is Hagen Eye Season 1. So, this is, uh, what's it? I think it's two episodes per. Um, Blu-ray and then this is the OVA so pick this all up for about 5,300 yen and if you know about Japan of how collectors are and see if, uh, for collectors they try to have as minimum space as possible used up because you know when you live in Japan you don't have like a luxury of having a big room it's usually a small house and a small room so Ideally, they want to try have they if they have a favorite series, they try to get one that is a box that condenses all. And so, let's say they have this, but they a new box is coming out that saves yourself half the size of this. So they would sell what they would sell this off and get half the size and have all still the content as well as the stuff inside. But I personally like collecting the blue like the volumes just for the fact that they have different designs so of course you got Senna forgot our name still for uh, Rika Kobato Maria and then so uh, yeah personally I like it just for the fact that they have different designs and if I was to meet the Japanese voice actors then I can have them sign those ones specifically Uh, next, Quintessential Quintuplet. I picked up two volumes of Miku. Ideally, Miku for a fact that um, my friend wanted one as well, so you know, bought him one and I bought myself one. So, got those two. This one's not really a Blu ray, or maybe it is, but it's also a book. But I got the special edition of Cinderella Girls After 20. AKA after 20 years old so it has a CD inside as well or original CD as well as I believe just a book if you guys could check it out so gotta love the after 20 year olds right and below 20 you get under 20 so I picked this up of um, was it Volume 5 of Cinderella Girls because it had Ronko 
Anastasia and uh, Minami, especially Ronko. So, had to pick this up just for Ronko. This was about 2,530 yen, so about $20. And uh, it comes with a little booklet inside. Of course, the Blu-ray inside, so bought that. And the one that I least expected that I purchased like I didn't think I would be buying this because I wasn't think I wasn't thinking at all, but I did anyways. Toradora. So this is the complete Blu-ray box. This was about eight thousand yen, and this will show you guys like I'm gonna stand up just to open it. So of course you get your little display in the front get two art booklets so I think they might be upside down so yeah of course you get Taiga and you got what's name forgot so these are just like miniature art books and character informations as you can see cannot do this with one hand you get this funny newspaper print as a bonus as well so it's like a newsletter paper and finally you get the blu-ray box which shows the characters So, but yeah, but uh, oh, and uh, inside the collector's box is little tiger, and you get the tiger prints right here. So, put this all back into the box. Next thing to show you guys, I bought are the video games so of course the ones I was specifically looking forward to or looking for were Mega Man, uh, Persona, and Idol Master so I think I accomplished my oh and Tail series but uh, speaking of Tail series I don't know where I put mine so <laughs> uh, first off of course Mega Man X4 so I actually bought two copies uh, because uh, this one was cracked as you can see and oh my god I'm having a terrible time organizing this stuff so uh, Mega Man X4 as you can see right here there's a huge crack and this was about nearly $10 so 980 yen and I was like wow this sucks I mean I could replace the case but $10 man and then I found another copy which has a perfect case and it's like three dollars more it has no cracks as you can see so I might sell the one that's cracked and keep this one so Mega Man X5 so 680 yen Mega Man X6 680 yen there's cracks right here so I should have bought the one without the crack I might sell this one too Persona 2 uh, Innocent Sin, I believe? I'm pretty sure it's Innocent- Eternal Punishment, wait. So, Innocent Sin. Oh, okay, so Innocent Sin is number one, Eternal Punishment is number two, got it. So, Persona 2, Eternal Punishment. Because, uh, Persona 2, there's, uh, two- Technically, it's- Persona 2 was two separate games, they had two separate games, so... Eternal Punishment and Innocent Sin. And I forgot uh, Eternal Punishment is number two. Innocent Sin is number one. So I bought this for twelve dollars and eighty cents. Uh, picked up some Mega Man Battle Network games, and um, four or two. I was looking into getting the ones that have a complete box or at least the original box because in America is incredibly hard to find. So managed to pick up five of Colonel. Mega Man Battle Network 4 Blue Moon, Mega Man Battle Network 3 Black, 
and uh, Mega Man Edges is Upside Down. This is Mega Man Bound Network 2. And so this was 30 bucks, so 3,180 yen. This was the same price, but the only thing that sucks is the box is more damaged, especially since I was carrying it as a carry-on. But I at least have the box. Colonel was 2,180 yen, and... Blue Moon was 1580, so I'm not sure. I know the most popular one is technically uh, Main Man or Main Man Battle Network 3 Black. This is the most popular one in the series. Oh, wait, this isn't number two. This is number one. My bad. This is Main Man Battle Network, the original. <laughs> I also got Tales of Fantasia. On the SNES or the Super Famicom, bought this for 1500 yen. Or is it 1200? No, 1500. Yeah. So, really happy that I got the original box for this. And more games to show you guys. Oh my god, they're heavy. I think the games were what made my luggage he heavy, but lucky enough that, you know, it didn't increase my fee. So. Ah, show you guys. So, this one I bought because it had Mika. So, <laughs> only reason why I bought Isle Master for this one is to meet for the Mika cover, and you also get like a print inside. One for Ronko, of course. My favorite girl. And this one, just because I want to play it, but... Oh, Master Stella Stage. And I really like the back cover too, because it has the other idols as well. And just to show you guys, it's open up because I, the shrink wrap's no longer there. And comes with the original game, of course. Um, a card, which is, there's a code inside, I'm pretty sure it's used. Pretty sure it's used. And inside, in here, uh, really quickly, there's a lanyard in here as well, so. There's a lanyard. A pin that says 765, which is the production company number. CD album This useless calendar that's no longer usable, but it's acrylic too. Holy crap. It's an acrylic calendar Inside so this is back in two. Oh wait. This is literally last year. This is last year That's cool. That's crazy. Oh And this um, mini art book as there are Character info, all that sorts. That's crazy! I didn't know this was a last year thing. But now I know. Oh man, it's so hard to put this back on. Make sure everything's in correct spot. Not try to ruin it, because I would love to have this in good condition. I think they only... I think the person just didn't want to keep this anymore because a new one came out because I know a new one came out for this one, so yeah. Uh, I got a and I one and funny thing is it's hella cheap. Like 880 yen. <laughs> and this comes with a lot of cool stuff inside as well because Okay, if there's nothing inside this box besides just the game, I'd be disappointed because no way could you have a collector's box this big for PS PSP game, not even PS Vita, PSP game, and not have anything cool inside, so I got that. Better be something inside. <laughs> and I got the 10th anniversary Tales of Vesperia that, uh, what is it called? Extended State, so anniversary edition, so 10th anniversary edition of Tales of Vesperia. And uh, this came out recently this year, so I want to get this ideally because I have the American one, but the American one's terrible. 
uh, Japan and Europe are the only ones that actually got a lot out of it. And so I just wanted to pick this up just to add to my Tales of series collection. So uh, I found more stuff that I uh, didn't look that I realized I have that's cool. Show you guys. So I got this wall scroll that I got at the Kyoto Anime uh, Convention or Anime Fair. So this is, of course, uh, Yahara no Session and uh, Ino Ihora. Ihora? I know her name's actually I, but got a wall scroll of her. Might be uh, replacing it with the Maki one that I have on my uh, wall up there. So, you got Bass in her glory. There we go. So, got a um, string, string wall scroll of this. Oh, blurriness. Blurriness. Hi. <laughs> I got this uh, little uh, Mika Jogasaki plush. This was about $66 and it's funny too because I thought she would be more expensive and then I think they raised the price for all the other Idol Master plush. Now they're like 8,000 yen, which is $20 more, but oh my god, I got the Mika plush. I just need to get the Rompa one and uh, I want to hopefully get the Karen one too, but yeah, I need to put, find a spot to put her somewhere. I might put her in the display case too, but oh and um. These two items I'm going to show you guys is probably one of the coolest items I got. Oh, try and be careful not to like break them because they are very fragile. But <laughs> I got Fiora from uh, Shield Hero. So this is just like a beer bottle with her character design and it has this wooden, um, I don't know what's called, wooden design where you could clearly see. Uh, focus please, but... I swear if the bottle cap pops off and I keep pouring shit, I would be so angry, but <laughs> yeah. Bought this at the anime convention. And then the best one I got... Is a Kanade one with her wooden print. So this is ideally for my collection, and you know what goes well with drinking all this? This is a uh, Hello Kitty shot shot glass from uh, the yeah the Kyoto Tower. So. Yeah, so it'll go well for my, along with these. Just get a better view. So, yeah, got these cool, awesome bottles. I'm just being really careful because of the bottom ones open the upper right, especially this one. So it could slip out any moment. So I'm trying to be very careful of holding these. But yeah, these are the cool things I got. Last moment to show you guys because I forgot that they're right next to me. Alright, so next thing in my haul from Japan that I got are stuff that I got from the claw machines as prizes. So, I got this Vulpix one right here. This one, it took me two tries. I didn't think I would be winning it because I was just messing around with the crane and I ended up winning this. So, it actually took up luggage space again. Thanks. But yeah, I got this Vulpix plush. This one, I won on purpose, and it is the Pichu plush, so I'm not sure how many times I dropped this on the ground array in Japan because um, it was hard carrying this around with my two luggages and two carry-ons, and this no way in hell was able to fit into my luggage, especially when there's already a lot of stuff in there that was more important, so carried this little bastard around all day when I was going back home. But yeah, got that. Got this Hello Kitty Mila plush. So, this is the first thing I won in Japan in one of the claw machines. And it took me a couple of tries, but I was happy to win this. So, 
Uh, man, I wish they had a dude one. And, and so, I got some uh, card case holders, so some Idol Master ones. Uh, Lazy Lazy from uh, Shiki and Fe Frederica. See? I got Mystery Mysterious Eyes of Kaide and Kanade. And the most important one, Asuka and Ronko, Dark Illuminate, or Dark Illuminate. And wow, did the brightness go down? But, oh, I get it. The brightness went down because of Dark Illuminate. Gotcha. Jokes. Uh, um, I think this was one of the coolest prizes I got, maybe. But, I got this, uh, mouse pad as well as mouse of uh, re-zero so it took me like three tries to win this and i wasn't expecting to win it i was just messing around and i was end up getting it and i'll have a mouse uh, emergency mouse as well as mouse pad so <laughs> here are the designs on the back uh this one kind of sucks low key this is a heart shape of her weapon of rem and then you get rem or you get this cool white one of the twins and you get rem and ram. See what I did? See what I did there? So, yeah, got this off one of the price calls. Uh, this one, this was easy one to get, and uh, don't mind the box because, of course, this is just I'll, I'll open it up and just get rid of the box. But here is a Fumika one or Fumi uh, in her wedding dress. Uh, fake Grand Order uh, glasses. So this is one of the cool things I got as well. Man, there's a lot of cool things off the crane items. Like, holy crap. They had like Blu-ray speakers, uh, chargers, of course the mouse pad and the mouse and shot uh, glasses. Like, dude, it makes... Man, prices in America suck for cranes. Give us some good ass ones. And speaking of good ass ones, this, I take that back. Th these two are the cool things that I won in Japan off the cranes. I got body pillows. Two body pillows. I think I spent like $50 in total trying to win these two because, of course, body pillows are hard, like expensive and they made the crane hard to get. But Miku and uh, Nino. Like, I'm not sure you can see from here. There we go, but... Dude, two body pillows? Holy crap. I can't believe I won two body pillows off of cranes. Like, why can't we have body pillows on cranes? Like, that would be so sick. By the way, she's like $50 at some, um... Secondhand store. And I only spent $30 winning her, so... And also, she's the best girl. But I like Nino too. This one I already opened up and built, but this is the Double Zero Riser Clear gu clear Color Gundam. So this is a limited edition that you can only get at lim uh, Gundam Base store. And this is a uh, Vint limited item, so I'm not sure if they'll have it by the time you guys will go. I mean, if you guys go now, they'll still have it, but i um, not sure how long it'll la uh, last there, but yeah. Had to get a Gundam. Uh, probably not going to buy a Gundam next time because I don't know. I'm getting tired of building them. Also, they're hard to. Sometimes I break them by accident. But uh, one of the Figmas I've been wanting to get for a long time. Even though I don't truly collect Figmas, uh, this one was a special occasion. Come on, camera. And of course, this is a Ronkon Kanzaki Figma. As you can see in the back, uh, I could have bought her online new for about 80 bucks, or I could go to Japan and pay 5,700 yen. So, of course, I had to get the Figma. So, uh, I was going to buy Mika 1 too, but the Mika 1, I, I, I just didn't have enough luggage space. I also got this nice. 
Yozora cat figure. This was this okay. That this is funny thing. So for figures, they are usually secondhand. You want to buy them secondhand? They're usually really good condition. I just find it funny how this is five thousand nine hundred yen, and this is five thousand seven hundred yen. So this is two hundred dollars or two dollars more than the uh, Ronko Figma for the Yozora cat figure. And of course, I need eventually find the Senna one, but. Yeah, I find it funny how I bought this for fifty-seven dollars. But <laughs> um, wow, I got this uh, Tessa fig, uh, Tessa figure from uh, Full Metal Panic. I paid about, as you can see, the price one hundred and fourteen dollars, so eleven thousand four hundred eighty yen, so about. $114, $115. So, Mithril. Get her little sunglasses. This. Uh, so, the reason why I actually bought this uh, figure was because in America, if I was to buy it uh, right now, like Crunchyroll Store or Otaku Mode, it is $180. And then once I saw in Japan for a cheaper price, $114, I was like, I'm just going to buy it from Japan because this is one of the figures I low-key wanted, but I didn't want to get just because how expensive it is. And I love Tessa. I wish they made a Chidori, but uh, yeah. So, bought this. And the most important figure that I bought, you know, that wasn't going to break my wallet, is the Mika one so dude I'm salty because okay so up here it's 13,700 yen so 137 dollars ideally but the conversion rate's like 120 something dollars I could have bought this for a hundred dollars because they actually like I bought this before they actually um, lowered the cost to a hundred dollars and so when I saw it was $100 in stores at um, AK48 uh, Akihabara store, it was only $100. I was like, are you, sh are you shitting me? It's $100 now? And I already bought this beforehand. So, it's cool though because online it's $178 or more. So, regardless, I bought this for a really good price for a figure that is also incredibly hard to find now at this point. Or at least if you live in America, but you live in Japan, this is such an easy figure to find in all the stores. So, anyways, go ahead and pull the camera through. Woo! Oh, wow, you cannot see for shit. So, looking at all the stuff that I bought, like, I literally had to scatter it all around. Like, look at my room. <laughs> Like, holy crap. And I guess I have to clean this all up again. But yeah. So, um, actually I don't want to show my face. I'm, <laughs> I'm embarrassed with my haircut. Sorry. But yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoy my Japan haul video. I'm sorry if it was like messy, no pun intended, because my room is messy now. But you know, I'm sorry in advance if my video was pretty messy. It's just it's really hard to do a long haul video when you have a lot of stuff out up here and you know showcasing or showing off what I bought. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys did leave a like, subscribe, comment below. And I hope to do more uh, haul videos and other videos, but yeah, I'll try to get this out as soon as possible, but anyways, that'll pretty much be the end of the video now, and uh, yeah, hope to catch you guys in my next video. Anyways, I'm heading out, and uh, sayonara.